gives me great pleasure to grace this event today as we mark another milestone in our journey towards building the future monetary system of our country in response to the emerging trends and developments in the global digital space. Before I continue, I'd like to pay tribute and truly appreciate our team at the Central Bank of Nigeria, or our E-Naira team at the Central Bank of Nigeria, led by our Deputy Governor, Dr. Kingsley Obiora, supported by our IT guru, Ajia Rekia Mohammed, a very, very intelligent, and I think I must truly single Rekia out when she was going to be made a director. When she was going to be made a director, I was thinking, I said, I'm, so, I'm sorry, ladies, please forgive me. Ha. A lady IT director. I read her CV. The first, first class computer science graduate in Abubaka Tafawa Balewa University. brilliant erudite lady from the northern part of our country, combined, combined with being a chartered accountant. And I said, you cannot have a better person as head of IT for Central Bank of Nigeria. She's done so well, and I thought it's very important that I single her out as a team, as a leader of a team that has worked tirelessly to bring to fruition our Inaira project. She's worked day and night with her team. Please pardon me, other members of the team. I know there are directors in payment system, directors in research, directors, monetary policy, I, all of them that have, you all have worked together to take us to where we are today. But you have to please permit that I have to recognize this gentle lady. <clears throat> About nine months, ten, nine, ten months ago, we, Mr. President, graciously unveiled our uh, e-Naira, uh, e -Naira, which is a digital currency, second in the world, and the first in Africa. <clears throat> After that, the project team did not go to bed. They continued work about how to truly ensure that the E-Naira project lives on. They kept thinking of various ideas, and one of those ideas is the reason why we're here today, where we are thinking of using the ingenuity and intellect of our youths to harness innovation, new ideas that will help deepen the acceptability of our digital currency in Nigeria. It is therefore of great, great interest and admiration to, admiration to me that Nigeria has put in a global spotlight. Nigeria was put in a global spotlight last year, precisely on October 25, when His Excellency President Muhammadu Buhari launched the E-Naira, making Nigeria the first African country to launch a central bank digital currency. As captured in the design paper released, E-Naira is a journey, not a one-time event. Remarkably, this hackathon event is a continuation of that journey, 
and the first among many to come, given that the future of central banking is inextricably bound to innovation. Our Deputy Governor did allude to the fact that we are increasingly, in fact, we, we, we don't have a choice but to live with the fact that we are now in a digital economy, in a digital space, where the use of cash will, dis will dissipate to almost to zero, and the use of digital economy or digital currency will increase and will now become part of our lives. In 2013, or 2012, we started the BVM project. I was a member of the Payment System Steering Committee of the Central Bank of Nigeria. I chaired one of those um, committees. And as then, at that time, as the MD of a bank, I knew that we did not have a choice but to embrace digital, digital technology and due to forms of making, making payments. When I became the governor of the central bank in 2014, and if, if some of you can go back and read my, my, my mandate statement, released on the 4th or 5th of June 2014, part of one of the paragraphs about our goals is that we will deepen payment system in Nigeria and we will seek to project Nigeria as a country that truly embraces digital technology and digital money for the good and advancement of the payment system in Nigeria. Pursuant to achieving this mandate of preserving monetary and fiscal stability, the CBN is strategic in charting the future of Nigeria's legal tender, be it in its traditional or digital form, as the economy transits to a digital one, as well as charting the course for innovation in the financial sector and in the infrastructure underpinning financial markets. Hence, the importance of getting the balance right between innovation and, st and stability. Against this background, the launch of INARA was timely and strategic in complementing the various diversification and digitization initiatives of the federal government, including the launch of the Nigeria Digital Economy Policy and Strategy, the National Broadband Strategy, as well as the introduction of the Startup Bill and host of others. As simply encapsulated in a popular mantra, the e Naira is the same Naira with far more possibilities. The e Naira will make a significant pos positive difference to Nigeria and Nigerians. Specifically, the e Naira is expected to enhance financial inclusion, support poverty reduction, enable direct welfare disbursement to citizens, support a resilient payments ecosystem, improve availability and, as, and, as, and, as, and usability of central bank money, facilitate diaspora remittances, reduce the cost of processing cash, and reduce cost and improve efficiency of cross-border payments, among others. The INARA was also developed to provide Nigerians with a cheap, safe, and trusted means of payment. Unlike the offline payment channels like the agent networks, USSD, wearables, cards, and near field communication technology, the INARA would give access to financial services to, to the underserved and unbanked segments of the population. Innovative products and services built on the INARA will enhance Nigerians' participation in the digital technology economy and promote further development of a version in fintech ecosystem in Nigeria. To achieve this set of objectives, the project adopted a phased approach with the first phase focusing on banked users 
while the policy objective of the second phase borders around financial inclusion. In addition, the eNARA platform possesses an innovation layer for products and services to be built with the aim of en enhancing Nigeria's participation in the digital economy and promoting further development of a burgeoning fintech ecosystem. Since the launch of, I, of this great initiative, the INARA has attained 840,000 downloads with about 270,000 active wallets, comprising over 252,000 consumer wallets and 17,000 merchant wallets. In addition, volume and value of transactions on the platform have been remarkable, reaching above 200,000 and 4 billion naira, respectively. Notwithstanding this appreciable progress, the second phase of the project has begun and is intended to drive financial inclusion by onboarding the unbanked and underserved users leveraging offline channels. Hence, greater success is envisioned for the project with phase two expected to deliver more gains with a target of about 8 million active users based on estimations using the diffusion of innovation model. Accordingly, we, pr we promised to increase the level of financial inclusion in the country because just like the Naira, the e Naira is expected to be accessible to all Nigerians. And I would pro and would provide more possibilities to bring Indian banks into the digital economy. I'm pleased and indeed delighted to inform you all today that by next week, Nigerians, both banked and unbanked, will be able to open an e Naira wallet and conduct transactions by simply dialing star 997 from their mobile phones. Shortly after this, both merchants and consumers will bank with bank accounts can use the NIBS instant payment NIP to transfer and receive eNaira to any bank account of their choice. This will further deepen the integration of the INAIRA with the existing national payments infrastructure. Ladies and gentlemen, as we celebrate the successes achieved so far, including the global recognition of the great job ongoing by the CBN, it must be acknowledged that the journey is interactive and therefore requires cutting edge innovation to sustain the vision and act and achieve the set out policy objectives. Therefore, it is important to note that enabling private sector innovation is one of the three foundational principles of central bank digital currency. Thus, this hackathon event today is neither a coincidence nor an accident, but rather another forward, forward leap by the Central Bank of Nigeria in the implementation of e Naira to ensure all Nigerians receive the full benefits of a central bank digital currency. The hackathon is an initiative that creates a collaborative environment for experts with diverse set of skills to drive sustained innovation geared towards making the e Naira the principle for digital financial services and the gateway to the digital economy. It is intended to seek solutions that will drive financial inclusion, SME's growth, and the creation of startups, facilitate cross-border trades and transfers, as well as international remittances and FX exchanges, effective implementation of welfare-inclined government programs, and enhance efficiency in our interbank payment market. Therefore, today's event is targeted 
are providing an engagement with critical stakeholders in the financial technology space, space to deepen the link between the e-Naira and our fintechs. Ladies and gentlemen, it is pertinent to mention that the e-Naira hackathon recorded a sizable interest from our young and innovative Nigerians with a total of 4,667 registrations comprising 4,082 male, 582 female applicants. This further corroborates the fact that Nigerians, both within and outside our country, possess innovative ideas and are willing and ready to leverage on exciting opportunities that the e-Naira presents for enhancing digital financial services and contributing to national development. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, from the presentations made over the course of this e-Naira hackathon, I'm confident that it will unravel a pool of talents that will fulfill the transformation of Nigeria into a world-class digital economy and beyond. From an initial cohort of over 105 groups that made the quarterfinals and 75 teams that progressed to the semifinals, the hackathon has reached its climax today with 20 teams in the finals from which the top 10 would emerge as prize winners. At this juncture, please permit me to salute the various teams and their members that have worked day and night to painstakingly articulate their pitches and prototypes, particularly those present here at this final event. Congratulations on making it to this final stage of birthing innovative solutions for a modern Nigeria and the first step towards expanding the Central Bank of Nigeria's innovative financial ecosystem. Let me also use this medium to acknowledge the partnership and unwavering support of the Minister of Communications and Digital Economy through NITDA and the partnerships with the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs. I'd also like to commend the African FinTech Foundry and members of the Project Giant for their efforts in the successful organization of this hackathon project. I thank you all for your attention.